Y'all, so I had to talk to y'all about this real quick. So I saw this article where it say in Australia, uh, ice, iceberg lettuce is $15. $15 for some lettuce? Y'all look it up. Type in $15 iceberg lettuce. And then I think they tried, they took it down to like $11.99. Um, they said out of all the things that's going up, that is like um the produce and stuff, the fruits and vegetables and stuff that's how it said a wallet melon will get you you twenty-five dollar will get you a wallet melon. Are you serious? Are you serious? So y'all we need to be watching what's going on in other countries is the best way for us to know what's going on. Um, sorry, y'all. <laughs> what's going on in what may happen in our area. Put it like that. I feel like we are the last ones that things hit that we know that we know about things. When other countries are dealing with situations, I feel like that we need to take heed, heed to that. We need to look at that and see because that can very well happen over here. As we can see, it's not always started in one country and then it always trickle down, trickle down, trickle down. So we need to be trying to budget the best way we can, get what we can. That is, when I'm saying that is going to help you out in this next part of this video, okay? So, I'm like getting tongue twisted so, because I'm so excited about this. Um, but trying to do it on a budget because I know money is tight with everybody, okay? So, I want to tell y'all that. Look it up. Um, like I say, type in something like Iceberg Lettuce Australia and you will see the article, okay? You will see the article. I feel sorry for those people over there though because $25 for a wallet mail. And it was something else that was expensive too but y'all look just look at that article let's go ahead and get in the second part of this video i wanted to bring that to y'all attention now i'm going to show y'all some savings that's going on this week okay so everybody can do this because it's all did you know and i'm about to explain it hope y'all enjoy okay what's up y'all all right so as you can see I've been doing some couponing at CVS, okay? So, um, due to, you know, us not having the, the supplies like we need to, like will be worth for me, like couponing like I used to, I'm doing all, all digital now. That's one reason, because I don't want to buy the coupons and stuff and then... They don't, the supplies is not there on the shelf, so I just wasted money on coupons. So, I'm doing digital. Anybody can do digital couponing. All you need at CVS is a CVS card that is free. Um, go to the app and put get the CVS app and go to the app and like sign up everything, put your number in, the address and all that stuff. There is something called a Care Pass. It's $5 a month. With that care pass, you get 20% off on CVS brand items and you get $10 in extra care bucks each day. So for everybody that is new to couponing, okay, I want to try it. An uh, extra care buck is these right here. I'm going to show you the bottom of my receipt. So you have been to CVS and you buy something and you got extra care buck. This right here. This is money. Now, this can't be used on tobacco, alcohol, none of that stuff. Uh, but it is money. Okay? You can turn around and use that to go towards your purchase in the store. Every week, they have certain items that's giving back extra care books. Also, don't forget about Shopkick app. I haven't tried, I haven't checked my Shopkick app, nor have I checked uh, my Ibotta. Um, to see if any of these items is on there now, which I will do that and let y'all know before I end this video if I got any of these items. So when I bought and stuff, sometimes they'll have the same items on there. You'll just scan the item, scan your receipt, and sometimes it'll be given back like $2.50, a dollar, or whatever. Once you meet a certain threshold, you can cash that out for a gift card, a digital gift card that could be used into the inside of the store. Or you can cash out and have the money to go straight to your bank account or whatever source of payment that you have that they are taking. Um, also, let's see, uh, Shopkick. Shopkick is mainly used when you when you can do use your receipt, uh, but I like to use it when you go into the store and you can scan some items and it give you points. And when it give you points, 
then you can turn that into gift cards too after so many points but we'll get into that once i figure out how many of you is interested in couponing because there's a lot to it but the way i'm doing it you ain't got to clip no coupons only clipping digital coupons you ain't got to cut none out because i'm no longer doing paper coupons because i mean the supply chain is just not there for me to be buying coupons the most i'll do is um print coupons if i need to so which i did that the other day so let's just start here though y'all um right here um first transaction i did i let's see let me see some make sure i got this this was done at 246 this one was done at 251 okay so going into this um i had extra care books i had ten dollars in extra care books okay um then i had a 83 cents extra care book all right so i had ten dollars and 83 cents going into this transaction all right and I already showed y'all what an extra care book is. So, the first deal that I did is spend 30 get $10 back in ECBs. Alright? And that's on certain items. Alright? So, um, my first thing that I got was this Downy, not Downy, this Tide. Tide um, Pies. 12 count is $7.49. Now, let me just say, what I prefer you to do is go to your CVS app and click every 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 coupon on there that's what i did i went through because i don't have time to sit down anymore and write out deals i clicked every coupon that was on there okay that way when i went to the store and i saw that there was something i wanted then i already knew there was a possibility that that was a coupon okay attached to it so the tide is um they was five they on sale for five dollars and 49 cents um so i got one of those then my Game Flings is on sale for $5.49. Then I did one of the Downy, um, this big thing of Downy. It's on sale for $12.99. Regular price would have been $14.49. And regular price for these would have been $7.79. But like I said, they're on sale. Then this little Downy, um, it was... Regular price eight dollars ninety nine cent, but I got it for six ninety nine. It's on sale for six ninety nine. So doing all that brought my total up to um, a little over thirty dollars. All right. So then um, I had a two dollar fabric downy coupon that was a digital coupon. I had a game fling one dollar off one. I had a Tide pies one dollar off one, and then I used my ten dollar ECB that I had and my eighty three cent. Um, and ECBs that I had, my subtotal came from a little over thirty dollars to sixteen dollars and thirteen cents. But I got ten dollars back in ECBs, so essentially it's like I paid six dollars and thirteen cents for. It. At the end of this video, I put everything, the total of everything, and what I got back. Everything at the end. At the end, okay. So essentially, it's like I paid six dollars and thirteen cents for this because I got ten dollars back in ECBs. You don't see that on this receipt because I used it for my second transaction. Yeah, that's called rolling your transaction. So, make sure y'all can see, 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 I ain't got my glasses on, so let me make sure that the camera is where it needs to be. Okay, y'all can see it. All right, so, <laughs> um, moving over to the second transaction, I'm using the $10 ECB that I gained from here. So, I already had a $10 ECB. I used it on here, and then doing this deal gave me another $10 ECB, which I'm using it over here. So, over here, I did a couple deals, um, and I should have pictures at the end of this video, too, so you'll be able to see what, um, what it is, what, you know, how it looks in the store, okay? So, um, I ended up getting $6 back for the... The toothpaste, I ended up getting $4 back for the toothbrushes and $2 back for the soap. Okay, so let's get into this. So, the deal with the Colgate, you buy two of these two packs, you get $6 back at ECBs. The Colgate um, two packs, they are um, $7.99 each, okay? 
But let me see, was they part of that? Okay, I don't know. I can't remember if they was part of the buy one, get one, 50% off. I don't think so. But I got two of them, okay? Then I did the dial hand soap. The dial hand soap, um, let's see on here. They're $2.49 each. And from the looks of my coupon, it say I got um, $2 back for purchasing two. I ain't got the sales paper, y'all, because it's digital now, so, yeah. All right, y'all, so, I realized what I did. I knew it was a good deal for this Colgate. So, with the Colgate, it spends six when you buy two of the toothbrushes or the toothpaste, okay? So, for some reason, I don't know why I thought these were different deals, but I knew I wanted these toothbrushes because it's a two-pack, okay? So, I, this is just what I did. You can pick and choose what you want to do. Um, but this is just what I did. But I had to look at that. I was like, I know they ain't got me. Um, but no, 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 no. So, let's go over these coupons for this. So, for the Crest toothpaste, I had a $2 off um, coupon. It was a digital. Then I had, so it had to be, let me see, it was $2 off one. Then I had a Colgate toothpaste, a dollar off one. I had two of those, two gold Colgate toothpaste coupons that came off that was digital. Then I had a $3 off 15 Colgate Oral. That's what I was thinking in my head. So that's why I ended up doing the two, the uh, toothpaste and the toothbrush. Because I had the $3 off 15 Oral toothpaste that came off. And I had a $3 off 15 toothpaste that came off. Okay. Um, so then I used my $10 ECB that I got from over here. Then I had a 20% off your next purchase coupon that I went ahead and throw it on top of this okay so my total was $24.52 but your girl got back $12 in ECBs now this will be a whole lot lower if I had paper coupons because I would have been able to use another crest coupon um, on top of that I would have been able to use um, manufacturer coupons paper coupons that was for the Colgate but I don't have any paper coupons which I need to go because I think I got a place where I could probably get some. But I want to also do this all digital for anybody that needed to stock up on some things. Need to get some stuff. Then you can get in the groove of clipping coupons and going to CVS to get what you need. So I did a roundabout total of everything for y'all. Everything y'all see with the sale items. While it would have been higher if it wasn't for the sale price. But I, I tatted it up with the sale price so if you just would have went in there and got all this you would have paid 91 dollars and 99 cents okay but we didn't do that i paid 40 dollars and 65 cents all right got back 12 dollars in ecbs so essentially it's like 28 dollars and 65 cents and that's what i wanted because i wanted something to have to rotate for next sunday okay so these are some of the deals that's going on some of the deals that was worth me getting. Um, I really don't need no more toothpaste. I don't need no more toothbrushes. Um, but they was giving back ECB. So then I had coupons for it. So I went on and did the deal. Um, hand soaps. I love. Y'all know if it's two things I really. Three things I really love. I love my cleaning supplies. My hand soaps. And my candles. Okay. Cleaning supplies. Hand soaps. And candles. I love. Alright. So this is what I ended up getting from the CVS. Um, and. We're prepping on a budget. Look at this. Yes, it's couponing, but a couponer is a prepper. They are a form of prepper, okay? They, they are cutting the cost, stocking up. That's why I have a stockpile, coupon stockpile. And that coupon stockpile has lasted us some years, you know, because that's what you do. You stock up when it's cheap, so you'll have it. Because we didn't have to worry about being crazy about toilet paper 2020 because we had a lot. We got more, but we had a lot all from coupons. So that's what it's all about. Stocking up so you can have it for later. So all digital coupon over here so we can prep on our budget, y'all. Anything that's digital that you can put out, clip it, and go to the store. That's what I'm going to be teaching. Well, trying to show. Not teaching. Trying to show how I do it because everybody won't do it the same way. And that is fine because we all different. So... You you pick and choose what you what you need for you and your family and what you don't need. Uh, but it's not worth me getting paper coupons unless unless I have a source. Unless I can get this source and that source will be free. So um, 
if, if that go through, then that'll be worth for me to have some paper coupon. But until then, I ain't worried about it because, like I say, I don't want to buy all those coupons. I used to buy 20 papers. Um, and I don't want to spend that money on it and then go to the store and the products is not on the shelf. Okay, so that being said, I still have to check my Ibotta. Um, so y'all can stick around real quick and I'll show y'all how to do that, how to check that body. If not, I'll see you in the next video. If this guy's will, okay? Alright y'all, for those of you that stuck around, this is my Ibotta app, okay? So I am just going to click CVS. Um, how do you want to shop at CVS? So, it will be in store. So, um, cause they done changed this thing around so many times to see. Um... I had to accept a permission. Okay, so let's see. It's a grocery receipt. Receipt. Click that. So you're gonna add. You're gonna click what you want to, like check on here or whatever. So I. You can also search. Um, what you bought. So I bought gain. Let's see. If there anything come off a gain. Nothing come off a gain. I bought downy. Nothing for downing. I bought, and you can also scan this too. I bought Tide. Okay, the only thing that came up for Tide is Tide washing machine cleaner. So I do not have that particular one, but something did come up. I'm going to put Colgate. Colgate toothpaste. Nothing came up. Let's see if it's any crest. Okay, we got a couple things for Crest. Nope, that's part of that. That's nothing for Crest, actually. Um, we just show me. And then we got Dial. Okay, the Dial Foaming. Now, they did have that, and I did see that in there. The Dial Foaming Hand Wash. It is part of that deal. If y'all want to do that, you can just clip this. When you get home, you'll get a dollar back, okay? It's a limit of five. You can, so if you bought six, you'll get six dollars back. All right. So I hope that makes sense. See, the, it's for the foaming. I didn't pick up none of the foaming, and they don't have the one that I actually picked up. It's a bonuses, make money, earn a dollar. Let's see. That's dial. Let me see this right here because they do have bonuses. Let me see. That's all for the foaming wash. Why didn't I pick up any foaming wash? But it's all right. It's for the dial foaming wash. So um. So I don't get it on there. And so that's all that I ended up getting. So the foaming wash is on the Ibotta. And that's another way to make money on top of, you know, getting y'all deals. So, yeah, I wanted to let y'all know that. And that's how you do it, y'all.